Welcome viewers, in this video we will see how to make the single phase induction motor self starting. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Making single phase induction motor self starting. Single phase induction motor is a not self starting. It will not start. Self play it will not start like other three phase motor. To overcome this drawback and make the self starting, it is temporarily converted into two phase motor during the starting period. So we are making into two phase winding. We will see why we are making two phase winding. So let us consider we are applying the AC voltage. We know that the AC voltage alternating in nature positive off cycle, negative off cycle. Let us consider it's a current. So during positive off cycle of the current, the positive flux will be produced plus pi. During negative off cycle, what will happen? The flux will be produced, but it's negative flux minus pi. So the sum of these two will be zero. Net flux will be zero. During positive off cycle, positive flux is produced. During negative off cycle, negative flux is produced. So the total average is zero. So due to that, this motor is not self-starting if it is single phase winding. So if it is only one phase winding, if you apply the single phase AC, what will happen? The net flux is zero. So we are making into two phase winding. There are two windings are there. In between two winding, there is a phase difference of 90 degree will be there. First phase it is the current is applied at 0 degree, second phase it is applied at 90 degree by connecting the capacitor. The capacitor will lead the current. There is a phase difference of 90 degree will be done by the capacitor. So one phase applied with 0 degree, another phase applied with 90 degree, there is a phase difference of 90 degree. So due to these two what happen, see this here, the flux is increasing means another phase flux is decreasing. At this portion the flux is decreasing but another flux is start increasing. So there will be a net flux will be always there. If it is only one phase that net flux is zero but here two phases available and there is a phase difference of 90 degree also. So always there is a net flux will be available. That flux will be used to start the motor that is the concept of converting the single phase motor into two phase motor. So one phase applied 0 degree, another phase applied 90 degree. So always there is a net flux will be there that is used to start the motor. right? So only one phase means the net is 0. Two phases with 90 degree means always there will be flux will be there. See here it is decreasing in negative direction but another flux is positive. So always there is a net flux will be there. Now we will see the diagram how to convert into two phase finding then what is the procedure. So this is the rotor, rotating part as a stator, stationary part. So there is a air gap. So in the stator we have two set of winding, main winding, this refers main winding, this is the starting winding. This shaded portion is nothing but starting winding. On both the side we have starting winding. These two are main winding. So this is connected through the capacitor. So there is a phase difference of 90 degree will be made between starting winding and running winding. That will make the motor self-starting. The flux will be produced. And also this starting winding is connected with one centrifugal switch. Once the motor start rotating, Due to the force, the centrifugal switch will disconnect this starting winding. Thereafter, only main winding will be available. So the normal, the ceiling fan also is yes, induction motor having two windings, starting and running winding. We know that we are connected with capacitor. Sometimes the ceiling fan is rotating slowly means the capacitor may fail. So we can replace the capacitor. So the capacitor in the ceiling fan make the current leading in one winding so that there is a phase difference it will make a net flux available in between the main winding and starting winding 
so that the fan start rotating thereafter due to centrifugal force the starting winding is disconnected right now we will see the some description the stator of a single phase motor is provided with extra winding known as starting or axillary winding in addition to the main or running winding so we have two windings starting winding running winding or otherwise axillary winding main winding the two windings are spaced 90 degree electrically apart and connected in parallel that will be done by the capacitor by connecting capacitor we are able to make 90 degree electrically the phase difference between starting and running winding so it is so arranged that phase difference between the current in two stator winding is very large that is 90 degree so there is a phase difference of 90 degree hence the motor behave like a two phase motor so two phase motor with 90 degree phase difference means always there should be some the flux will be available if it is only one winding with one current means the net flux is zero due to alternating nature now we behave like a two phase motor these two currents produce revolving flux and hence make the motor self starting so that is our main aim is to produce the revolving flux because of two windings with two different current with phase difference of 90 degree the revolving flux is produced and make the motor self starting right how to convert how to make a 90 degree phase difference there are many method by which the necessary phase difference between the two current can be created how to create the phase difference there are two methods available so many methods available mainly we have two methods split phase machine the phase is splitted another one capacitor start induction run motor so the capacitor will make the phase difference of 90 degree in another case split phase machine the separate video available how to make a self starting using split phase machine similarly how to make a self starting of induction motor using capacitor start induction run separate videos available link is given in the description box in this video we discuss how to make the self starting by making single phase winding into two phase with the phase difference of 90 degree so that always there is a revolving rotating flux that will make the motor to self start that can be implemented with two method split phase machine capacitor start induction meter induction motor for these two separate video available subscribe this channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination